and the authority of every law Use enforcement false in this imprisonment town. charges. It's traveled all the way up to the governor's ears. He's asking me to make these slanderous accusations go away. He can't afford the scandal. It's an election year, and he's scared that he just might lose the colored constituency. Well, excuse me, Warren? What? Well, I, I couldn't help but notice it's uh, 40 minutes past 5 o'clock, and... Well, I can see that for myself, Leroy. Uh, that's why I have a timepiece on the wall. What's your goddamn point? Well, there's a... Well, there's a woman who uh, straightens up your office punctually at 5 o'clock every week, and I, 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 I don't see her here today, and I, I was just wondering, you know? <laughs> you mean the maid? Yes, sir, that one. Well, if you must know, I terminated her employment in this institute. You what? But why? I've had just about enough of these subversive fence hoppers undermining my authority. One takes it upon himself to file false imprisonment charges, and the other one takes the liberty of decorating my entire office with Christmas ornaments, making a mockery of my repute. Why are you so concerned about the whereabouts of the goddamn maid, huh? <laughs> Let's move on, shall we? See, you have fallen behind in your potato boxing again. 35 crates a day is the expected quota, as you are well aware. <laughs> My beautiful desert rose is gone. <laughs> she, she's gone. Desert rose? Yeah. A desert rose she was. My sweet desert rose. 